Hello friends, today we are going to learn different cultivation practices of cotton. Cotton is also known as kapas. The botanical name of this crop is Gossypium species. It belongs from the family Malvesi. The old origin of cotton was India and Africa. The new origin of cotton are Mexico and Central America. In case of geographical distribution, United States of America, Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, India, China, Brazil, Egypt, Pakistan and Turkey are the major countries of cotton cultivation. Around 35 million hectare area is under cultivation of cotton that produces 23 million tons of cotton and productivity is 650 kg per hectare. In India, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, Punjab, Rajasthan, Haryana and UP. These are the major states of cotton cultivation. 7.5 million hectare area is under cultivation of cotton in India that produces 10 to 14 million tons and the average productivity of cotton in India is 729 kg per hectare. India rank first in case of area, rank second in case of production and rank fourth in case of total seed production. Maharashtra has the largest area under cotton cultivation that is 2.89 million hectare area. Gujarat is the largest producer of cotton in India. In case of economic importance, cotton is one of the most important fiber crops playing a key role in the history of mankind and civilization. Due to its importance in agriculture as well as industrial economy, it is also called as white gold. Cotton is grown chiefly for its fibers which are used in manufacturing of cloths for mankind. It is used for making threads also used for making other fibers and extraction of oil from cotton seed. The oil content in the cotton seed ranges from 15 to 25 percent depending on the varieties. Cotton lint is used for surgical dressing, bent cotton, furniture padding, etc. Cotton seed cake after extraction of oil is a good organic manure and contains about 6 percent nitrogen, 3 percent phosphorus and 2 percent potassium. Cotton seed and cotton meal are good concentrated feed for cattle. It is also considered as a cash crop since past. Its cultivation provides 200 man per day employment. In case of botanical classification, there are four cultivated species in cotton that are found in India that are grouped into two categories, desi cotton and American cotton. The two species comes under desi cotton are Gossypium arboreum, Gossypium herbaceum and the chromosome number of both species is n is equal to 13. In American cotton, again there are two species that are Gossypium hirsutum and Gossypium barbadens and the chromosome number of these species is n is equal to 26. Basically, cotton is a herbaceous plant growing as a shrub with a height of 2 to 6 feet and it has deep tap root system. Also, it has erect stem with two types of branches. These two types are monopodia and sympodia. Monopodia are vegetative branches and sympodia are the fruiting branches. The fruit of cotton are called as balls. These balls are more or less egg shaped pointed at the ends. Each ball contains 3 to 4 locules that are called as lock. Each lock contains 7 to 11 seeds and each ball contains 24 to 50 seeds. In case of soil requirement, cotton prepares black cotton soil which is best for rain fed cotton. Rather than black cotton soil, alluvial soil is also best for both irrigated and rain fed cotton. Also, clay loam, red and red sandy soils are suitable for cotton cultivation. But sandy, saline and waterlogged soils are unfit or unsuitable for cotton cultivation. The pH requirement for cotton cultivation is 5.5 to 8.0. In climatic requirements of cotton, cotton is a semi xeropoid plant grown in tropical and subtropical conditions. The minimum temperature requirement for cotton is 15 degrees Celsius for its germination at field condition. The optimum temperature for vegetative growth is 21 to 27 degrees Celsius. This crop can tolerate temperature up to 43 degrees Celsius, but temperature below 21 degrees Celsius is detrimental to the crop. Warm days and cool nights with large diurnal variations during the period of fruiting are good for ball and fiber development. The rainfall requirement for cotton crop is only 500 to 700 mm. Start field preparation before onset of monsoon that provide convenience in the different 
field preparation operations. Carry out one deploying with the help of Maudward plow at a depth of 15 to 20 cm, followed by crisscross harrowing with the help of cultivator, and then planking should be done to level the land. The field should be free from previous crop stubbles and weeds. In case of seed and sowing, the first point is seed treatment. In case of non chemical seed treatment, soak the seeds of cotton in water for 10 to 12 minutes and then rub seeds with fresh cow dung to remove fuzz. Dry these rub seeds in the shade for few hours and then clean it to carry out sowing operation. In case of chemical treatment, soak seeds in concentrated H2SO4 for 2 minutes to burn the fuzz and then wash seeds with running water to clean it. Dry these seeds in shade for few hours and then treat with thyrum at the rate 3 gram per kg of seeds. Next point is sowing time. Irrigated cotton sown at 15th May and rainfed cotton sowing should be carried out within 1st June to 15th July. Dibbling, drilling and putting the seed behind the plow these are the sowing methods of cotton. In case of hybrid cotton the spacing is 90 to 120 cm by 60 cm. The spacing for American cotton is 60 cm by 15 cm. For desi cotton, the spacing is 60 cm by 15 to 30 cm. The seed requirement for hybrid cotton is only 4 to 5 kg. For American cotton, it is 12 to 15 kg. And for desi cotton, 10 to 20 kg seeds required to carry out sowing over 1 hectare area. The seeds are dibbled or drilled at a depth of 5 to 7 cm. Then gap filling should be carried out 7 to 15 days after sowing and thinning should be carried out at the time of first weeding. In case of irrigation or water management, cotton crop is very sensitive to both water deficit and water lock condition. For rain-filled cotton, there is no necessity to provide irrigation. But for irrigated cotton, irrigation should be given at 10 to 12 days interval till the onset of monsoon. If there is any dry spell for 3 weeks or more in monsoon, give the protective irrigation to cotton crop at critical growth stages. So the critical growth stages of cotton are commencement of sympodial branches which comes at 60 to 70 days after sowing, flowering which comes at 90 to 100 days after sowing and third one is ball formation which, is, which comes at 125 days after sowing. In case of weed management, keep the field weed free for up to 60 days after sowing by adopting 3 to 4 hoings followed by 2 to 3 manual weeding. If labors are problem in that area, use any one herbicides from the following table for controlling of the weeds. Out of these herbicides, use any one herbicide to control the weeds. Hoeing and weeding should be undertaken 30 to 45 days after sowing after application of herbicide. In case of manures and fertilizers, apply FYM or compost at least once in 3 years at the rate of 12 to 15 tons per hectare. The recommended fertilizer dose for hybrid irrigated cotton is 100 as to 50 as to 50 kg per hectare NPK. For hybrid rainfed cotton, it is 80 as to 40 as to 40 kg per hectare NPK. And for desi cotton, it is 50 as to 25 as to 25 kg per hectare NPK. For hybrid irrigated cotton, the nitrogen dose is splitted into three doses. One third dose of nitrogen is applied at the time of sowing. One third dose of nitrogen is applied at one month after sowing and remaining one third at the time of 60 days after sowing. In case of hybrid rainfed and desi cotton, the nitrogen dose is split into two doses. First dose is applied at the time of sowing which is 50% nitrogen. Remaining 50% nitrogen is applied at the time of square formation stage. Whole phosphorus and potassium are applied as a base to spraying of DAP at the rate 2% at the time of flowering and bottle development stage increases the cotton seed yield by 10 to 20 per percent and also avoids the reddening of cotton. Seeds also treated with azotobacter at the rate 25 gram per kg of seeds that reduces the nitrogen dose by 20 to 25 percent. In case of insect pest and disease management in cotton, the major pests observed in cotton are aphid, just seeds, thrips, white flies and ballworms. To control sucking pest, methyl dimethyl or dimethyl should be applied at the rate 400 to 600 ml per hectare. To control white flies, the crop should be sprayed with triazophos at the rate 600 to 800 ml per hectare or it should be sprayed with neem extract at the rate 2.5 liter per hectare. To control ballworm complex, one spray of either chloropyrifos or quinalphos at the rate 2.5 liter per hectare. Then one spray of synthetic 
pyrethroids 10 ec at the rate 500 ml per hectare and hnpv at the rate 250 le per hectare should be sprayed in case of bacterial blight disease this disease is controlled by spraying with streptocycline at the rate 0.01 percent the next major disease in cotton is fungal leaf spot which is controlled by spraying copper oxychloride at the rate 0.25 percent to control gray mildew the crop should be sprayed with vegetable sulfur at the rate 0.2 percent or carbandazim at the rate 0.1 percent to control ball rot disease crop should be sprayed with copper oxychloride or carbandazim to control root rot disease drench the plants in affected patches with carbandazim at the rate 0.1 percent or carry out spraying of zinc sulfate polyar application of zinc sulfate at the rate 24 kg per hectare and the root rot resistant varieties should be sowed to avoid the attack of root rot then another disease in cotton is leaf curd which is controlled by cultivating desi cotton varieties that are resistant to leaf curd diseases and these varieties are lrk516 lrk5166 hs875 lhh114 these varieties helps to control leaf curd disease in case of leaf reddening irrigate the field and spray magnesium sulfate at the rate one percent urea two percent followed by dap two percent at the time of initiation of leaf reddening in case of harvesting and yield the duration of cotton crop is 150 to 200 days that depends on the variety cotton is harvested in three to four picking first picking is carried out at the middle of october second picking is carried out at the beginning of november and third picking is carried out at first week of december in the fall when the balls are fully burst and cotton hang down pick this cotton with all finger pick clean cotton without dry leaves dry the cotton in sunlight for 2 to 3 hours the yield of irrigated cotton is 15 to 20 quintal per hectare and the rain fed cotton is 10 to 12 quintal per hectare Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video informative, please like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel.